Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everyone is doing well. So on this video, I am doing a collaboration with my sister Zainab. Yeah, so her video will follow on after this one. Please do watch up until the end. Yeah, on this video, I'll be sharing information about charity, me and sister Zainab. Uh, we're sharing information about charity, especially to our non-Muslim brothers and sisters or our Muslim um, brothers and sisters, just a reminder to them. Zakat or charity is the third pillar of Islam that is obligatory act of giving portion of one's profitable wealth. To those in need each year, that must be done by a Muslim if you can afford it. The other primary form of charity is known as sadka, and it is not compulsory. Whilst giving zakat is obligatory for most Muslim, giving charity in a form of sadka, it can be a humble act towards other uh, human beings. Uh, it might be, uh, for example, maybe going to visit an uh, old age home, just sitting with old people, just, you know, uh, talking to them, just giving them company or massaging their feet, or it can be um, giving a seat to an older person, maybe in a, in a train or wherever, in a clinic or wherever, or giving a seat to a pregnant woman. Any act of kindness that you need, you, you don't need to boost that you, you've done that. Yeah, it must just come naturally to you. Yeah, and then um, we often hear that uh, when giving charity, we should do so in a way that our left hand doesn't know what our right hand has spent. So the question is, does that mean we should give only in secret? Uh, according to Islam, no. Islam supports giving charity in both ways, but we should keep in mind um, that um, Islam places a great emphasis and rewards on giving charity in secret. Uh, it uh, preserves the dignity of those who receive the charity and also prevents the giver from being boastful and seeking praises. Giving charity in secret is the best when giving charity that is voluntarily. Giving charity publicly is best when giving obligatory charity like zakat because when done openly, it encourages others to fulfill their duties as well. So in my closing, giving publicly or privately uh, by giving zakat in public and giving sadka in private both are acceptable because at the end, it's only Allah that knows the best. And it's only Allah that knows what's in a person's heart and what's the person's intention. So always put in mind that whenever you are giving, do it for the only pleasure of Allah and do it for the goodness of your heart not to show other people but mainly these videos that we are doing is just more for encouraging others to do uh, good uh, just do any act of goodness yeah for example for me personally uh, what I would like to share what I usually do in my house when I usually tell my kids my family everyone that when I dish up by mistake, maybe I over dish up for them. Or if they dish up themselves, sometimes you dish up and you're thinking you're going to finish that food, but you end up not finishing it. Try to eat on one side of the plate and the other food, then you are sure when, by the time you finish your food, you didn't mess up the whole food. Don't be putting your dirty bones on the same plate. Yeah, so that food that is left, you can always pick it up nicely and go and give it to the street kids. Because you know what? Anyway, those street kids were going to dig the trash and take your the food that was left over by whoever with the spittle and all that. Yeah, so I always believe that whatever in your house, just try not to throw food. Yeah. Yeah, that's all advice I can give. I hope this video will give you inspiration to do any kind of goodness. Uh, any kind of goodness. You really do not have to have 
money to help someone. As I did say before, our way of uh, showing any kind of goodness, we call it sadka. It's something that you can do uh, for anyone without you actually spending money okay guys i hope this video was helpful was encouraging uh to every one of you uh, i hope we're able to showcase the good side of islam through these videos please stay tuned and watch uh sister zainab's video uh it's approaching right now thank you so much uh on my side for watching uh please do not forget to give a like Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you all are well. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing collaboration with one of my uh, Muslim sister. Since it's Ramadan, a giving month, we decided to uh, give a sadaqa to the needs. Also, in this video is encouragement of our brothers and sisters out there to help the needs in different ways. You don't need a lot of money to help someone. There's many ways to give a sadhika. You can give sadhika by just visiting a sick person. Spending time with your parents is also a sadhika. Praying for the people you care about or someone who asks for dua is also a sadhika. A good advice, giving a good advice to someone who really need is also a sadhika. Greeting people with happy face is also sadhika. Talking softly, not being harsh or rude is also a sadhika. And many, many, many ways to give a sadhika. So in my video, I'm preparing food for homeless people. And yeah, please keep watching this video. And if you do like, don't forget to give your sister immense thumbs up. Share also with the other people out there. And yeah, let's keep watching. Okay, we was out here buying things which was short at home. Okay, I'm home now and I prepared everything out of camera so we can, you know, save time. So there is my rice. I soak the rice already. And here is my chicken. I also, because I buy bright pig, it was frozen. I put in the water just to... Yeah, to get soft and I cut my onions and everything. So this is potato for potato salad. I already put for boil. Yeah, so I'm going to start with the chicken. I'm going to start by preparing the chicken. Okay, guys, so I'm done with my cooking. As you can see, here is the chicken. And here is the potato salad. Here is a uh, fried cabbage. Looks so yummy. And there is the rice. So I'm going to pack everything so we can get going. Mm. Okay guys, so we are done with the packing. We got here our plates done. We're going to just uh, pack in our boxes of plastic. We'll see where we can pack them. It's fine. You happy? Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. 
that too. How are you? How many people is there? In that hall there. Okay, you come that I don't want to give you something. Okay. It's fine. Okay, bye-bye. Hello. You hungry? Yeah, get some food there. You are welcome. I didn't go near, but I saw from outside. When that guy was coming out. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah I, think, good shot. I think it was a shame. He was sleeping. Oh, he's selling biscuit. He's selling biscuit, but he can't walk. I think he needs. You also hungry? Oh, hungry. How are you lying? <laughs> okay. Oh, sharp. Yeah. You can just give to. 